Yeah, I think you can safely say that. You can read a lot into that. Now, Jim Harrow, the big boss of HMRC, was here in Parliament speaking earlier today, and he did mention something that was very interesting. He said that he couldn't speak specifically about Nadeem Zahawi's tax affairs, but what he did say was, if someone does make an innocent mistake, that doesn't lead um, to a penalty. And that matters because Nadeem Zahawi said in a statement last week that his tax error was a careless and not deliberate error. Now, it's reported that penalty was in the region of £5 million, and that's all related to the founding of the polling company YouGov more than 20 years ago, and then its sale. Now, Rishi Sunak has uh, launched an investigation, and he was speaking just a few minutes ago. When it comes to Nadeem Zahawi or anyone else, what I believe in is due process, and that's why I appointed an independent advisor to look into the questions that have been raised, investigate the situation fully, establish the facts, and provide advice to me on Nadeem Zahawi's compliance with the ministerial code. I think that's the right thing to do to ensure that we have integrity in politics, but to do that in a professional way, that's what we're doing. Well, Warren, uh, someone else also facing an investigation is Dominic Raab. What's the latest on that? Well, yeah, it's more bad news for Dominic Raab, the Deputy Prime Minister, and Rishi Sunak today. Now, I'm sure the viewers will remember back in December, uh, Dominic Raab was accused by eight uh, civil servants of bullying over a number of years related to his time working at the Foreign Office, the Ministry of Justice, and also at the Brexit Department. But today, it's been claimed in a number of newspapers, the number of complaints has now reached 24. Now, that investigation is due to conclude um, in the next few weeks, and questions are being asked as to why uh, those two ministers, by the opposition parties are still in government right now and Richard Sunak has uh, yet to answer that question. Okay, uh, Warren from Westminster, thank you.